White Sox hosting the Guardians. The White Sox are minus 135 on the money line. The Guardians are plus 115 over under nine runs. The Guardians getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The White Sox laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Battenfield did not pitch against the White Sox either last season or this season. Ironically enough, Clevenger pitched against the Guardians last year twice when he was with the Padres. Four and two-thirds, three runs, three earned. They won five to four, and that was in uh, Cleveland. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost three to one, and that was in San Diego. Just food for thought. Now, the Guardians are 0-5 as a team with Battenfield on the mound. He's averaging five innings pitched and four and two-thirds innings pitched in those games. The White Sox are 3-5 and five as a team with Clevenger on the mound. They've lost his last two starts. He's also averaging five innings pitched and 4.4 strikeouts per game. So essentially, these are the exact same guys in different uniforms, and their numbers kind of reflect that. Although Clevenger is walking more batters, and he's given up more home runs, he's also appeared in more innings, so we can keep that in mind. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 5-5. Five and five. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings, so whether it's the favorite or the underdog, the teams are generally winning by two. The over is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10, and the over 9 is 5-3-2. and two. The game they played yesterday, the White Sox won 8-3. The game before that, Cleveland won 4-2. The game before that, Cleveland won 8-2. And the game before that, Cleveland won 10-7. Uh, Cleveland is two and two in their last four, and they are five and five in their last ten. Nine runs, fourteen runs, seven runs, eleven runs, four runs and a loss, eight runs and a win, four runs and a win, three runs in a loss. The White Sox are two and two in their last four, and they are four and six in their last ten. Six runs, four runs, seven runs, eleven runs, one run and a loss, three runs and a win, three runs and a loss, eight runs and a win. Clevenger to me is like Corbin. He's just now he's the American League version of Corbin. And I'm sure there's a pitcher who's worse, but seemingly I just have that same kind of stigma with him that when I pick with him, he gets me. And when I pick against him, he gets me. But he seems to be a fairly safe pitcher to pick against. I'm going to take Cleveland with the money line. I'm going to take Cleveland getting the runs. And I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.